Hello and welcome to Sudoku Pro. Hello everyone, this is Uma Maheshwari solving the three star Sudoku puzzle from today's in the newspaper dated 14th December 2022. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with this top section. Now, uh, if you look at this block, you have top section alone filled and you have two empty rows. Uh, that means whichever number is blocking this entire row will go in this uh, in this row. So now we have here 9, 7 and 8 blocking this row completely. So 9, 7 and 8 can go in these three cells. But we have only 9, 7 and 8 and we really cannot figure out which number goes in which cell. Um, so let's look at this. Now remaining numbers in this block are considering 9, 7, 8 goes here. The remaining numbers are 4, 5 and 3. Uh, we have 3 in column 8 and 3 in column 7 blocking these two cells. So 3 goes here in C9. Now 4 and 5 goes in these two cells. Again, we do not have any clues of 4 and 5. We need to keep that in mind. Now considering that 4 and 5 goes in these two cells, we are left with only 3 empty cells. And these two cells are blocked by 1 here. This 1 blocks these two cells. So naturally, one goes here in C6 and now in missing numbers in this C row are 2 and 6. We have 2 blocking from column 1. So C1 takes 6 and C3 takes 2. Now in this block 1, there are only 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 4, 5 and 7. Uh, there is a 7 here in column 1 and you know that 9, 7, 8 goes here, right? So 7 blocks from here. This 7 blocks here and this 7 blocks here. So 7 goes here in A2. Now these two cells take 4 and 5. There is 4 blocking from B row. So B2 takes 5 and A1 takes 4. In A row, there are only 2 empty cells and the missing numbers are 5 and 9. There is 9 blocking from column 5. So A5 takes 5 and A6 takes 9. A 2 here in column 8 and a 2 in column 7 blocking these two columns and there is 2 blocking from I row. So 2 goes here in G9. Now this 2 from G row and this 2 from I row blocks these two rows. So 2 goes in one of these two cells. Similarly here in this block also 2 goes in one of these two cells. Now that eliminates 2 in these 2 columns and there is 2 in F row blocking here. So, so 2 has to be in one of these 2 cells here. We have 3 and 7 in column 6 and 3 and 7 in column 4 blocking these 2 columns. So 3 and 7 has to be in this middle column only. Now you have 3 blocking here, so only 7 can go here. There is a 7 blocking from E row, only 3 can go here. And here both 3 and 7 can go in this cell. Now we have an ideal triplet here, 2, 3, 7 triplet. Once again, I'm explaining you a triplet means we have a set of 3 cells where only 3 numbers can go. In this 3 cells, you can clearly see these 3 cells can only take 2 3 and 7 because 2, 3 and 7 are blocked in these 4 cells. 2, 3, 7 can go only in these 3 cells. There are 3 numbers and 3 cells. So it is a triplet. So these 3 cells are blocked. Now we know that in column 5 there is only 1 empty cell and the missing number is 1. There is a 8, 9 in this block which blocks these 2 cells. So 8 and 9 goes in these two cells. We have 9 blocking from B row. So D1 takes 8 and F1 takes 9. Uh, now in th these two cells take 1, 5. Let me write it down here for your clarity. Otherwise normally we, I keep it in my mind when I actually work out this puzzle. Fine. Uh, 1 and 5 goes here. Now this 3 and 6 blocks here. So 3 and 6 goes in these two cells. Now we are left only with two cells empty and here 4 and 7 are missing. Here we have 4 from column 3 blocking here. So G3 takes 7 and G2 takes 4. 
okay this 8 from i row and this 8 from h row blocks these two rows so 8 goes here in g4 now this 8 in column 4 and this 8 in d row blocks these three cells so 8 goes here in e6 this 8 in e row and this 8 in d row blocks these two rows and there is a 8 here in column 9 blocking here so f8 takes 8 now we know that we miss 9 7 and 8 i already told you that this 9 7 and 8 is blocking this row and 9 7 8 has to be in these three cells now we have 9 and 8 blocking this cell that means b8 takes 7 8 and 9 goes in these two cells we have 8 blocking from here so b9 takes 9 and b7 takes 8 we know that we miss 4 and 5 here uh, if you look down this column there is a 4 here blocking these two cells and there is a 4 here in g row blocking here so now in column 7 c7 is the only cell where 4 can be um, that means c8 takes 5 there is a 9 here in column 9 and 9 in column 8 blocking these two columns and there is a 9 here in d row blocking here so 9 goes here in e7 you have a 1 here in f row and a 1 in column 6 blocking these two cells so 1 goes here in e4 now this 1 in e row and this 1 in f row blocks these two cells so 1 has to be in one of these two cells here and we have 1 in column 9 blocking here so d7 takes 1 now here uh, in g row we miss 1 and 5 so this 1 blocks here so g7 takes 5 and g1 takes 1 and here in column 1 there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 5 now in this ninth block we have three empty cells this one from i row blocks these two cells so one goes here in h8 now here we miss four and six there is four blocking from column nine so i9 takes six and i8 takes four uh, in column eight there is only one empty cell and the missing number is six um, now in i row there is only one empty cell and the missing number is five now here we miss two and four there is four blocking from column 6 so h6 takes 2 and h4 is 4 um, now here we know that we miss 2 and 6 this 2 from column 6 blocks here so b6 takes 6 and b4 takes 2 now here the missing numbers are 5 and 6 this 6 blocks from column 6 so d6 takes 5 and f4 takes 6 uh, now we know that we miss 5 and 7 here so this 5 blocks here so d9 takes 7 and f9 takes 5 now this 7 cancels out the 7 here so d5 takes 2 uh, e5 takes 3 and f5 takes 7 now in f row there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 3 we know that we miss 3 and 6 here so this 3 blocks here so h3 takes 6 and h2 takes 3 now in column 3 there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 5 and here we miss 2 and 6 there is 2 blocking from here so d2 takes 6 and e2 takes 2 and the person is solved hello friends how did you find the puzzle today uh, for me spotting of this Spotting of this triplet in the central block helped me a lot to solve the puzzle and I found the puzzle very interesting. Please share your experience in the comment box. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.